This is my green Anola cage. Um, their scientific name is Anolis carolinensis. 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 Okay, whatever. Um, so here's their cage. Um, oh, he's all the way over there. Just a second ago, he was up there. Um, I got two in here. Um, this one's my sister's, Baja, and Shaniqua is mine, um, right here. Um, I can tell the difference because she's usually not as green and, um, she's a little smaller than he is, than this beast, right, right, you're a beast. Anyways, they both ate a mealworm today, um, one got it himself in the air one I put my finger up and he bit the mealworm out of my hand, well my finger. Um, it just got the coconut fiber stuff that you put in a bucket, stir around till it's good. The little brick stuff, which I recommend for keeping humidity. Um, I just got pieces of rope hanging on both sides um, with my basking, I mean my, okay with my basking and my UVB side. Because they need UVB because they're daytime and that's how they get some of their calcium. And just some plant, um, a quartz from Colorado that I picked up when I was mountain climbing. Um, and just some slate for no re reason really because it they don't go down there much. But, um, and just stick holding up all of it. I don't have a really much stuff to put in because I usually collect stuff from outside, like um, bark and stuff, but um, it's winter right now, so, and I got them in the winter like two months ago, so, so they seem to be doing really well. They're actually harder than some animals to keep care. Um, they're always active. He looks like he's going to jump right now, maybe. Maybe you see something, I don't know. But they're always moving. This one always looks around with his eyes. Um, he's like, what are you doing? Get out of my way. And this one's just like, I want to walk around because I'm cool like that. Um, so I have a little nighttime one. It doesn't keep much heat, but hey, it's a little. Um, this is a 50 watt. It's... Just a spotlight bulb, and that's a 13 watt UVB. Um, they're really not that aggressive if you pick them up right. If you can put your hand in front of them and touch their tail, they'll jump on you and not bite you. If you just grab them, they're gonna bite you because they're threatened. Um, so yeah, there's my green and nose.